Good day, acute angels! Welcome to a new learning episode. This is Teacher Eliza, your grade 8 mathematics teacher. Before we start, kindly prepare the following. Your Math 8 self-learning module, your pen and paper for note-taking or for writing your answers as we go through this discussion. And most importantly, find a place in your home where you feel most comfortable to study and learn. At the end of this lesson, you are expected to Illustrate triangle congruence and illustrate the SAS, ASA, and SSS congruence postulates. Let's start with triangle congruence which will focus on correspondence. What does it mean when two triangles have correspondence? A one-to-one -one correspondence can be established between the vertices of two given triangles. For example, triangle ABC and triangle DEF. The correspondence between these two triangles means Vertex A can be paired up with Vertex D, Vertex B with Vertex D, and Vertex C with Vertex F. This pairing up of vertices can be described by using the symbol for correspondence which is a double-headed arrow. Therefore, the correspondence between these two given triangles is written as this which is read as ABC corresponds to DEF. I repeat, the correspondence between these two given triangles means A can be paired up with D, B with E, and C with F. Now, in this correspondence, we can form three pairs of corresponding angles and three pairs of corresponding sides. Let us have first the corresponding angles. Since vertex A corresponds with vertex B, therefore, angle A corresponds to angle D. The same goes with angle B and angle E. Moreover, angle C corresponds to angle F. Now, let us identify the corresponding sides. The first pair are side AB corresponds to side DE. Next, side AC corresponds to side DF. And lastly, side BC corresponds to side EF. These are the six corresponding parts of triangles ABC and triangle DEF. Take note that the correspondence between two triangles is any way of matching up their vertices. So we can form other possible correspondence between the triangles ABC and triangle DEF. And sometimes, the congruence between two triangles is a congruence correspondence. This means that the vertices of the first triangle are paired up with the vertices of the second triangle in such a way that the corresponding angles and the corresponding sides are congruent. This leads to the idea of congruent triangles which will be the next part of this lesson. Now let us have congruent triangles. If you look around us, there are many things that are congruent. For instance, a flower or a bridge. If you look closer to their structure, you can identify parts that shows congruence. We say that certain objects or figures are congruent if they have the same size and same shape. The same goes with triangles. Two congruent triangles has the same, have the same size and same shape. 
in such a way that if you slide the first triangle, it will fit exactly to the second triangle. Another definition of congruent triangles is their vertices can be paired so that corresponding sides are congruent and corresponding angles are congruent. So this means that congruent triangles must have corresponding sides that are congruent as well as corresponding angles that are congruent. Let's have an example. We have here triangle MAT and triangle GO. The correspondence between these two given triangles is a congruence correspondence because all pairs of corresponding parts are congruent as indicated by the arcs and tick marks. These arcs and tick marks will also help us to identify easily the corresponding congruent parts of these two given triangles. Let's start with the corresponding angles. The first pair are angle M and angle G. Angle M corresponds to angle G. So angle M is congruent to angle G since these two given triangles has congruence correspondence. And as indicated by the tick mark placed on the arcs of each angle. Next pair we have angle A is congruent to angle E as indicated by the two tick marks placed on the arc of each angle. And the last pair of corresponding angles are angle P and angle O. These two angles are also congruent as indicated by the three tick, mark, tick marks placed on each arc of the angles. Next, we have the corresponding sides. The first pair are side MA is congruent to side GE as indicated by the tick mark placed on each side. Next, side AT is congruent to side EO as indicated by the two tick marks placed on each side. And lastly, side MT is congruent to side GO as indicated by the three tick marks placed on each of these sides. Since triangle MAT and triangle GEO has three pairs of corresponding angles and three pairs of corresponding sides that are both congruent, therefore, triangle MAT is congruent to triangle GEO. This shows us that if two triangles are congruent, then their corresponding parts are also congruent. Or the corresponding parts of congruent triangles are congruent. This is actually a restatement of the definition of congruent angles. Since this will often be used as reasons in proofs, this is also abbreviated as CPCTC. We are now on the last part of this lesson, which are the postulates on triangle congruence. In triangles, it is not necessary to name all six pairs of congruent parts to say that two triangles are congruent. In fact, we only need to identify three pairs of congruent parts. Let us first familiarize ourselves with the following definitions as these are necessary for this lesson. The first one is an included side. A side of a triangle is said to be included by angles when the vertices of the triangle are the endpoints of the segment. In this figure, GI or side GI is included between angle G and angle I since the vertices G and I of the triangle are the endpoints of the segment GI. Next, we have included angle. An angle of the triangle 
is said to be included if its sides are sides of the triangle from the same vertex. In this figure, angle K is included between sides JK and LK. Since the sides JK and LK of angle K are the sides of the triangle from the same vertex K. Now let's have the first congruence postulate. This is the SAS or side angle side congruence postulate. This states that if two sides and the included angle of one triangle are congruent to the two sides and the included angle of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Let's have an example. We have here triangle FAI and triangle RAI. We have also the following given statements. Let us show that these two given triangles are congruent by SAS congruence postulate. Let us have the first given, which is FA is congruent to RA. If you look on the figure, you can see that these two sides are marked identically. This is now our first pair of congruent parts. Next, we have angle F is congruent to angle R. These two angles are also marked identically on the figure. And this and this are our next pair of congruent parts. And the third given we have AI bisects FR. What does bisect mean? Bisect means to divide something into two equal or two congruent parts. So this means AI will divide segment FR or side FR into two equal or congruent parts. And these are the sides FI and RI. For this reason, we can say that FI is congruent to RI. And this will be our third pair of congruent parts. We have already identified three pairs of congruent parts. Since the two sides and the included angle of the triangle FAI are congruent to the two sides and the included angle of the triangle RAI, therefore we can conclude that triangle FAI is congruent the triangle RAI by SAS or side angle side congruence postulate. Let us now have the ASA or angle side angle congruence postulate. This states that if two angles and the included side of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding angles and included side of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Let's have an example. We have here triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Let us show that these two given triangles are congruent by ASA congruence postulate. We have the first given right triangles ABC and PQR. As we all know, a right triangle has exactly one right angle. In our example, for triangle ABC, the right angle is angle B. And for triangle PQR, the right angle is angle Q. And we can now say that angle B is congruent to angle Q, since all right angles are congruent. This is our first pair of congruent parts. Next, we have side AB is congruent to side PQ. And this is our second pair of congruent parts. And lastly, angle A is congruent to angle P, which is our third pair of congruent sides. And we have already identified three pairs of congruent parts which are two pairs of congruent angles 
and one pair of congruent sides. Since the two angles and the included side of the triangle ABC are congruent to the corresponding angles and included side of triangle PQR, therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle PQR by ASA congruence postulate. And lastly, we have the SSS or side-side-side congruence postulate, which states that if three sides of one triangle are congruent to the corresponding three sides of another triangle, then the triangles are congruent. Let's have an example. We have here triangle ABC and triangle ABC. Let us show that these two triangles are congruent by SSS congruence postulate. The first given is side AB is congruent to side AD. These sides are also identically marked on the given figure. Next, we have side BC is congruent to side DC. And this is our second pair of congruent parts. Now, we need to show that the third side of the two triangles are also congruent. And this is the side AC. By reflexive property, we can say that AC is congruent to AC. When we say reflexive property, this means that anything is equal to itself. So therefore, side AC is equal to AC. And this completes the three pairs of congruent parts, which are all congruent sides. Since the three sides of triangle ABC are congruent to the corresponding three sides of triangle ADC, therefore, triangle ABC is congruent to triangle ADC by SSS congruence postulate. And this is the end of this lesson. For your activity, answer the following. Letter A, determine if the given triangles are congruent. Identify their corresponding angles and corresponding sides. Number 1, triangle JOY and triangle FUN. Number 2, triangle QRS and triangle TUV. Letter B, State the congruence postulate to show that the two triangles are congruent. For number 1, we have triangle ABT and triangle CBD. Number 2, triangle ABC and triangle EDC. And number 3, triangle ABC and triangle XYZ. You may write your answers on your notebook or a piece of paper. And that's all for today. Thank you for your time and effort. I hope you have learned a lot from this lesson. Again, this is Teacher Eliza May Kunanan, your grade 8 math teacher. Have a good day and God bless.